it's your girl T here back with the Tuesday vidya. Yeah? I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because we're tea timers. It's absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is why am I always in my desired state? Why am I always in our my desired state? We're tea timers, so we are the state. We are the state. I wanted to discuss with you today something that I do notice quite frequently and it is quite a common practice in our society and that is excusing, um, making dismissive excuses for someone not hitting their mark. And what do I mean by that? As an example, I'll use myself. For a long time when I wouldn't hit goals or I wouldn't per se consciously manifest before I knew about conscious manifestation, I would say, well, you have to understand I'm a single mom. I'm a single mom. I'm a single mom. I would say that over and over. First of all, if I'm trying to manifest my SP at that time, then why am I associating myself with being a single mom? I should say, you know, I'm a powerful wife or I'm a powerful... That's not the point of this video. The point of this video was I was excusing not hitting certain um, things that I was aiming for by saying, well, I'm a single mom. And then people would empathize with me and be like, yeah, it is tough being a single mom. And they would solidify my excuse. And so uh, why, why should the people around me justify that? Like, I'm not taking away the fact that it does give you... Um, it does give you a slower start to the race when you're raising a child by yourself, but it doesn't limit you to be boxed in to not hitting your goals because you're raising your child by yourself. It's the same thing with lots of other things in our reality. Like you'll hear people say, well, they're disabled so they can't do this or they have mental health so they're not capable of that. But who says they're not capable of that? Only the person can say what they're limited or not limited to. There are millions of examples of people with limitations like disability, mental health, single moms, who hit really amazing goals and dreams and marks. It's more of the fact that people around you will facilitate you using these things as excuses as to why you're not able to get what you want or hit your goal or do the things that you said you were going to do. The only thing that inhibits you from doing what you want to do between yourself and your actual goal is yourself and what you feel your limitation is. Because like I said before, there are a myriad of examples of people who have probably similar hindrances in their lives as yourself but they manage to overcome them and get to their dreams goals or what have you and we call them miracles or or society will call them one in a million but it's just a case of them not accepting no for an answer and them not letting their limitation create their life for them them looking perhaps at their limitation as something positive um, there's a person, Inky, I forget his last name, but he lost, I believe it was a leg when he was playing football. I can't remember if it was a leg or not. Anyways, it ended his career per se in football, but he went on to be a super powerful, um, positive speaker and, um, positive speaker, motivational coach. So he, and he said the path he was on in football wasn't leading him down a positive road. So he is happy that this happened to him because it forked him into the motivational speaking field. And he's never felt better about himself than he does now where he's at now. Sometimes in life, when it throws us a curveball, the curveball is a good thing because it leads us to a path that we wouldn't have considered before the curveball came. What the point is, is that instead of excusing not getting what you want with anything you perceive as negative in your reality, you could perhaps look at it as a positive thing. Like myself now, I look at myself being um, a single mom all those years as a positive thing because it taught me how to be resourceful. It taught me how to um, <clears throat> rely on myself more and know that what I'm capable of, which was everything. So those are positive attributes that come out of being a single mom. And it made my sons more sensitive to women and more sensitive to what they go through, um, especially when they are a single parent. So that's a good thing. You can look at anything as the glass half empty or the glass half full. Now, when we are thrown these curveballs or these uh, situations that wouldn't be ideal in someone else's eyes, are we looking at 
looking at it like a roadblock or are we looking at it like the road is closed and we have no entry to our goals and our dreams? It's all about how we perceive the things that come through for us in life. If we perceive them as things that are going to block access to the things that we want, then that's what they're going to show up as. But if we look at them as things that we can take positivity out of or positive lessons out of or redirections or reframe what it means to us, then we can see another route to get to our goals and dreams instead of limiting ourselves on what we can accomplish because of whatever's in front of us. I wanted to do a video on this because I hear it every day, people excusing why they're not able to get what it is they want. And it's not to say that there are huge setbacks in life and there's huge things that, you know, throw us through a loop. But how are we sitting in it? Are we looking at it like it's going to stop us for the rest of our lives from getting what we want? Or are we looking at it like a life lesson, like something we can reframe in the positive, like something we can learn from, we can redirect in a different direction? How do we look at it? Everything, like I always say, nothing has meaning until we assign it as such. So what meaning are we assigning to things and what meaning are we giving to things in terms of are we still allowed to do what it is we want if something unexpected happens? Or is that going to be the thing that we define doesn't allow us to go any further in our life and our goals are dead to us? I know you're tea timers, so I know you're going to reframe everything that you can do what you want regardless of the circumstances. But I just wanted to do a video today to bring light to this. Thing that's happened that happens quite often in society don't let everybody else put their limitations on you don't live through other people's limitations only live through your own expectations and limitlessness that might not be shared by everybody around you but you can control and curate and narrate the way your life's going to look based on that limitless um perception we have in our minds and if you don't feel limitless right now you can affirm that why am I so limitless how is today going to be limitless how am I the most limitless person on the earth why do limits not apply to me etc etc we are limitless we return ourselves back to the limitless feeling we had as children and the world opens up for us I'm telling you if y'all have questions, you know what to do. I love y'all, but not as much as you should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Tuesday. Bye.